So we need a prime minister that's willing to listen to Canadians, that's willing to listen to Canadians in Charleswood, St. James, Assiniboia, Headingley, and that's willing to embrace the concept of partnership. And so as we look forward to working together, look, again, this isn't about me. I would appreciate any help that we get. I plan to roll up my sleeves, and I plan to work tirelessly. And I plan to listen to the issues that you may have. And I already know that there are some issues. I know that the aerospace industry in this riding is very important. It employs somewhere around 14, 16,000 people. In fact, I had a son. I have a son that uh, for a year worked just on the outside of this riding at Cataract as, as an aerospace engineer. I know how important the air, aerospace industry is in this riding. I know how important Air Canada and the layoffs they're, they're planning to do with mechanical engineers and flight attendants and the fact that they've written a letter and asked the Labour Minister to waive Section 214 to 260 in the Labour Codes so that they don't have to sit down with the employees they're going to let go to make sure that they have a good transition place in place, a good transition plan in place. It's a very important issue for this riding. Senior issues are very important in this riding and affordable housing. Child care issues are extremely important in this riding and the child care spaces that we don't have, that where we have a waiting list and in fact I read in a memo that the waiting list is so long your children are long gone by the time you have an opening. But just as importantly, we need the young people in this riding. The young people are future Canada. We need your vision, we need the vision of young people, and we need a leader that's going to listen to the vision of young people, that's going to write it on a napkin and take it with him, and decide to listen and to be a partner. Young people are the future of Canada, and we need their issues and your issues as well. So let me conclude by saying I commit myself 100% to this writing, to working for you, to listening to you, to building consensus, to being your partner, taking your message to Ottawa. It's not about me, it's about the people in this riding, and I appreciate your support, and I look forward to working with you. Thank you very much.